Here we got a 2011 Toyota Tacoma pickup truck. We ordered a Torch off-road 2-inch lift kit for it that has the add a leaf springs for the back over there. I'm going to start with the back of the truck. So make sure you jack and block it and put it on jack stands properly so that you don't hurt yourself. Okay, but they jacked up in a way that both wheels are off the ground. You can take the wheels off, the tires off, and make sure the springs are lowered all the way. For the back, you take off the lug nuts and then pull the wheel off. So there's a couple things we'll have to do. We'll have to take the little 12 millimeter bolt off for the brake, the emergency brake cable. We'll have to undo the front spring perch and the rear lower spring perch back here. And then the shock from the top and the bottom. And then we'll have to loosen the U-bolts and take the U-bolts out. And then we can pull out the front and back bolt on the spring and pull it out of, the, out of position. Oh, that's broken. So I'll bring the jack over here and jack up on the axle so that whenever we lower it down, it doesn't just drop and break the brake cables right here. Okay, I'm gonna start by loosening the lower shock bolt. If I got enough room. Oh, I put the jack in the way. Oops, don't tighten it. So there's a nut and a washer and then the bolt, but we'll take that out once we get the top loose. So on the top up here, it's got a little flat thing, the nut, but it looks like it's a little rusty. So this is just a multi-purpose lubricant. So this was smaller than a six millimeter, so I was going to use just the adjustable wrench. Oh, that one broke off. I used some needle nose vice grips and stick in here. Because this is fun. Now you should be able to pull out the lower bolt. 12 millimeter for this little bolt here. Oh, that was tight. And that just can flop out of the way. These are 19 for the nut on the inside and the bolt on the outside. So this, right now I'll just take off the nut and leave the bolt in place. There's 
a nut and a washer back there. And then I'll do that for this back one here. My anyway. And then really tight so gotta take the axle off of it so that's done by undoing these four bolts down underneath here yeah see that right there so these we're gonna not put back on because the bolt the u-bolts are different size Pull the U-bolts out. Your head is in the way. <laughs> I don't know if I'm getting it. You can get it from the other side. From over there? Yeah. stop to come off okay so now everything should be loose just held in place by the jack so I'll let the jack down but keep an eye on your brake cables so that they don't get too tight right there so right now I'm off so I should be able to get these bolts loose maybe Gotta be careful on the inside here because there's a gas tank. Okay, over right here somewhere in the sun. Throw this on the bench so we can take it apart. So what we want to do is clamp it together a little bit so that when we take this bolt loose right there, it doesn't just go ching and whack you somewhere unpleasant. Is there a pleasant place to whack you? In the head, but oh. not somewhere else at this level. <laughs> um, so these are the leaf springs that do the regular work and then this is an overload spring, this big thick one. So the idea is to take the new spring and put it between there because it won't be able to compress this overload spring so you just want to reshape these two larger springs or longer springs so this is a 14 millimeter nut on here it was really tight before so probably isn't So you want to grab onto this head with some vice grip so that you can get that nut off if it's rusty. Okay. 
Okay, so this bolt we won't reuse. And the system came with two replacement bolts. It looks like the big one fits, so we'll use the thicker diameter bolt and discard the other one. So now we want to release the tension on here so we can put that shim that leaf in. So make sure you put this little shim back in that fell out. And this one's got two rub two plastic pads there, so those go up with the curve. And take the nut off and start feeding the bolt through the holes. Put the shim in, shim in. Okay, and then when you get those lined up and the bolt through, put it on finger tight, the nut. If you can get it started. So you're not supposed to tighten it with the nut because that would strip the bolt out. So put your clamps back on. Make sure your shim's in solid. Oh, I probably want these real close in the middle here so that they just pinch the um, closest point. So you want to make sure that they're lining up correctly and that this U goes around there and that these are flush. So you just tap it flush if it's sticking up. Maybe. Hmm. That or something. And then keep tightening. So get the biggest C clamps you can find, I guess. Just tightening up the nut again so that we don't lose what progress we made. Looks like I got those close together right there. This was, went a little crooked, it looks like. Let me grab the end wrench now. instructions to torque that to 30 foot pounds but in order to do that I got to cut the bolt off because it's longer than my rent. but oh let's see if I can move this out Probably already has 30 foot pounds on it. 
So I'll get the torque wrench and then I'll cut this. Cut it short so that it fits in the bump stock. Take a rest in between. There we go. <clears throat> and then 30. Like that. And then it says to remove the clamps completely. So hopefully they don't unspring. a little bit more hopefully not too much okay so we gotta get the front end of the end of the position Here, if you can see in there, Wait, I can't. Oh, and there then a groove beyond, underneath here. That little nub needs to go in the middle hole on the axle, like that. And then the back needs to go in place. I need. I probably have to loosen this bolt so that I can rotate this. on now we gotta jack it up so that there's pressure on the spring so that we can tighten these up in the normal ride height position
like that. The bump stop goes there. So the two torch U bolts go over top here. So you can see it from the back. There now you can see a torch from both sides if you look in there. And then it's got four new washers and nuts. The U shape goes up on here. These are oh they fit properly on this side. If these don't fit all the way you have to like squeeze them together to get them to go into place. And a washer and a nut. Now these U-bolts are long because it's kits for multiple model years. So in my situation, they, I can't, I don't have a extension long enough and these hang down really far so I don't want them to get caught on things. So I'll cut off an inch or so of this once I get them up to where I can't reach them with the, with the socket anymore. And these are 22 millimeter. What I did is I tightened the back up too far and so then, or the front ones up too far and then the back ones weren't tightened as much. Torque 
spec for a 2011 is 90 foot pounds. So if you have a different year, or different setup, just verify that you have it the correct torque. I pinched myself. Put the shock back in. This shock happens to be pretty light. Maybe it's bad. Where did my shock bolt go? So you can let the jack down to match your shock up if you can't get it in if your shock is tight. Then we just gotta put the little brake cable back in, whichever way it fits. I like that. We should be all set now. So the only parts left you should have are the U-bolts from the original setup. Originally we could, with this all the way down, we could put the wheel on and off. Let's see how it is now. Oh, okay, it's still. Oh, that's hot. Somebody put that in the sun. Thank you. 
Looks like we got a little bit of height there over original. So from the ground to here it's 38 and a half, whereas when we started it was 35 and a half. Job well done.